Hey, what's up, people? Just a real quick lesson here, actually. Um, just want to show you the right way to play Smells Like Teen Spirit. And it's not the strumming pattern that I'm going to talk about today. It's this little subtle trick that Kirk Cobain uses in this song, uh, a couple others, like Dumb. I know he uses it. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me show you. It's really simple. So you got your regular chord progression with power chords, right? <laughs> But what he really does is he kind of leans his pinky on the G string for all the power chords that are, you know, for the F power chord, so this. Instead of that, he does this. And then for the, uh, the G sharp, um, he also does the same exact thing. You might be like, all right, so he plays a sus4 chord? Yeah, but the thing is you kind of have to listen to it to hear, he really hits it very subtly. And you gotta listen to it to hear the cadence, but I'll play it for you here. It's kind of like... And then you uh, press down on your distortion pedal. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And I'll show you real quick uh, how he does it in dumb. It's uh, he does the suspended. He always does this on power chords that have an E string root. Um, it's I think it's because this is how I play power chords too. Um, what he does for power chords on the A string root, he often includes the B string, like in in bloom. So I think it's just uh, economical to keep this position the same for both A string root power chords and E string. So yeah, you kind of just uh, make your uh, pinky joint flat. So here, I'll show you dumb. I'm not like them. I can pretend. My voice is rough right now. All right. Yeah, so uh, that's it. If you like this kind of content, then uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out.